Hey, sixth graders, and welcome to week number eight of Remote Learning. Believe it or not, this is the last week of new content for this school year. Eight weeks of remote learning, and this is the last one. Uh, this will be the last personal video that uh, I make. Um, so at the end of this, I, I have a little goodbye message for you for your summer, a happy summer um, message for you. Uh, but this is it. So uh, even though we do have school next week, and so uh, your teachers will be around office hours and things, sixth grade teachers are going to be working on stuff to try to put together a fun uh, virtual camp activity uh, a little bit each day maybe for you guys next week. Uh, not for grade, just for some fun stuff um, so that we can uh, maybe have some meets where we're all coming together and, and just uh, a little bit of, uh, of fun here to, to, end the year, to, end the, to end the year since we weren't able to, to all be together. Um, for that last day of school. Uh, so in the video, uh, I want to talk about the work for this week um, and what you have for me to finish our cells unit. And then um, I want to talk a little bit about grading and update on some grading. And then, like I said, a uh, quick goodbye message at the end. So let's go ahead and take a look at that remote learning doc and see how we're chunking and breaking down the work. The remote learning doc for week number eight. Uh, if you take a look at, oops, there's a typo. There are three, not two. There are three assignments that are graded this week. There is a reading guide that's going to go through the last little bit of new information about a cell for this unit, and it's called the cell and its environment. So you're going to learn about how materials go in and out of uh, in and out of the cell. So you're going to learn about two processes that are really important to know. One is called cell diffusion, and the other one is called osmosis. So maybe you've heard of those terms before. And you'll learn a lot more details when you do a reading guide. So 10 points for that reading guide. There will be an attachment that has pages from the textbook for that one. Um, so it's black and white pictures that I just, uh, PDFs that I have. So you'll use that to kind of help you. You can just do kind of a split screen up on your computer to have the, the reading go through on the one side and then the reading guide and the other. The questions go in order. Most of them are just right there type of questions. So it should not be too difficult for you to go through and get that done. Um, number two is an Ed puzzle that is uh, going through labeling a cell. So I, it's a Ed puzzle that I made a video of myself where I'm going to go through. I'm going to have some uh, diagrams of labeling a cell. I'm going to ask you just a couple of questions through there. There's not a lot. Um, it's more so in Ed puzzle because it's. I think it's really important for you to watch it. And so I'm just going to give you uh, ten points for getting the questions right and for watching 100% of that video. Okay. The other thing that it will be graded then is a quizzes for cells, and it's 20 points because this is in replace of the actual test. Right? So I'm only going to allow you to take it one time. You only get one attempt for it for your quizzes, and so whatever your score is is your score. But um, the way I'm going to grade it is that if you can score 80% or higher on that quizzes um, at the end of the week, then I will give you a 100% on your grade in Infinite Campus for that test, okay? Only other thing, and if we look at the breakdown here, is uh, on Thursday. I'm going to have another quizzes in there to practice what we just did on Wednesday with labeling a cell, but I'm not even going to look to see who did it, okay? It's just kind of practice for you. It's not for a grade. There will be some questions on the test that are going to have a, a diagram of a cell, and it's going to be pointing to something, and you're going to have to say what organelle that is. So that's why I put the practice one on there. So you can get, uh, like I said, a little practice on it, okay? So Monday, watch the video, start the reading guide. Tuesday, finish the reading guide. Wednesday, do the Ed Puzzle with labeling a cell. Thursday, do the practice quizzes of, of practicing labeling parts of the cell and the organelles. And then on Friday, go ahead and take that quizzes and try to score 80% or better. And then that's it. All right, so... Office hours are the same, so come in and ask questions as you go through, especially before Friday or before you take the quizzes, if you take the quizzes early. If there's anything that you're unfamiliar with or unsure of to get clarification on, see me before you take that quizzes, because um, that's 20 points, all right? Um, but other than that, I, I think it's a, a pretty self-explanatory week, Nothing, no type of s'more product or anything, so kind of back to just a, an easier week. All right. Let's go through now. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about grading some of the stuff that you guys have done over the last two weeks. All right, guys. So the way this is, is going in terms of the amount of work that's coming in and me grading it, um, just to be completely honest with you guys, the stuff that is quick and easy to grade, um, 
hopefully you've noticed that you get that stuff back um, really quickly when it's due. Everything's always due on Monday, and so sometimes some of those really quick things you get back by Monday even, sometimes Tuesday or Wednesday. And some of the other things like the s'more and then you guys are turning in your cell analogy project this week. It's taking me a little bit longer to get through those. Um, and that's part of the reason why the school is not giving new work um, after this week is so that teachers have time to catch up on all the grading. And if you guys have stuff that you didn't finish, that you can get stuff turned in as well. Um, and so I will, if, if there's things that are not turned in yet or not graded, if they're blank, that just means that you turned it in. And it might even say turned in. Um, the only time you ever have to worry about something hurting your grade is if it says missing. If it says missing, that means I don't have it and it's giving you a zero. If it doesn't say missing, don't worry about it. Okay. Also, please just give a little bit of patience for me to get through your um, s'mores and then now your cell analogy projects. Okay, so I can get all of that done. Um, other than that, just make sure on documents and things that um, when I return them to you guys, if you don't score 100%, go back, look at those documents, learn from your mistakes. I've corrected your mistakes. I've tried to explain in the comments of why you got it wrong and what the correct answer is. So use that to your benefit to, to help um, help correct yourself so that you don't have it stuck in your mind wrong, right? You don't want to have um, misinformation and you don't want to have misconceptions um, because you didn't really realize that it was wrong. And the only way you know it's wrong is if you go back and check. So please go back and check. Okay. So um, I just want to take a real, real short amount of time here to, to say goodbye and to tell you guys that I am really proud of the way you've handled this whole situation over the last eight weeks. Um, I think it's important for you to think about what has happened over the last eight weeks. I would encourage some of you to think about ways to document it, um, a journal, a photo journal, make a wee video or something that kind of documents how you're feeling and what's going on in your day-to-day -day life over the last eight weeks because as things start to change and, and get back to whatever they start to get back to, um, sometimes the memories don't quite stick as, as, as much as you think that they will. And this is going to be something that we're talking about um, a couple years from now, decades from now. You might even tell your kids one day when, you, when you're that old, okay? like me. So it, it's, I, I think that's important. More importantly than that, I, I just wanted to, to tell you guys that I'm proud of the work that you guys have done and, and how, how well you've handled this. Um, I usually like to say goodbye on that last day of school, and this is kind of robbing me that opportunity to do so. So this is a cheap way to do it, and I don't like doing it, but I just can't leave it like hanging. Um, so, you know, kind of think of this as like your, your virtual uh, elbow bump with me that I'm proud of you. Uh, I'd enjoyed having you in class. I look forward to having you in class again next year, no matter how it works out and how we do this next year. Uh, if we're not back right away or, or whatever it might be, um, you know, always uh, I encourage you to, to keep your connections with your, your past teachers okay? by, by saying hi, by dropping emails, uh, whatever it might be. Okay? But again, I'm, I miss you guys. I wish I could do this in person with you because uh, I feel like that means a lot more. But uh, it's just kind of the situation that it is. So I hope you have a great summer. Get outside. Be safe. Have fun. Relax. Enjoy your friends and your family as best as you can. And we'll see where, where we're at when we come back in August. All right. For now. <laughs>